Studying may be about effectiveness and not aesthetics, despite what Pinterest may make it seem. But would you rather prefer studying from notes that look like this? Or this? Guess I know the answer. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever day you're watching this on. So as you can probably see in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take notes that look aesthetic and pretty and pleasing to the eyes. But at the same time, don't require too much effort because you're lazy or too many expensive stationary supplies because you're broke. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Zoya and I really hope that you find my content amusing enough to consider subscribing. Alright, let's get into the video. So first of all, we're obviously going to talk about the supplies and firstly, you need a pen to write with, of course. And because we're talking minimal here, you don't need a hundred different colors of pens. Just one black ink should work perfectly fine. And make sure to choose a pen that you have a grip on and that works smooth. I personally use Writometer and Pentonic the most, but it's totally your choice. Next comes where you take notes and that's again your call. You can use binders or registers or diaries or even journals. And if you're using notebooks, I would highly suggest you to use one of those spiral binding ones. Those are great for taking notes and not those oblong ones that you use for school. And make sure that the paper quality is good so that the ink doesn't bleed. That makes the pages really messy and we want to go for neat. I recently have been using printer paper to take notes because I had plenty and I couldn't find spiral notebooks due to the lockdown. So I just stapled the notes of one chapter together and put those of different subjects in different files. Okay, now we're talking about aesthetics, but we're also talking about minimum effort. So how do you give notes that look all pretty without putting in much effort? You bring in colors. Yes. That's the key to make ugly plain notes pop up and look all vibrant and pleasing to the eyes and not make you bored while studying. So because we're going all minimal with the supplies, the basic things that you'll need for this are two highlighters of two different colors and that's it. One black pen and two highlighters and you're good to go. However, if you don't have highlighters or you're looking for an alternative to them, you could also use sketch pens. Now, I believe most of you probably already have sketch pens and they work pretty much the same and even offer you more options with the colors. So why not put them to use? Just remember to use only two colors at a time and you can pick the color scheme beforehand. I usually go for blue and pink together and yellow and green together. Anyway, that's it for the supplies. Now let's get into the actual process of note taking. So note taking is also of different types. There are various different formats for it. And the ones that I use the most are the list format and the concept map format. So for non-technical subjects like history and political science, the list format works pretty well. You write the main title, then you write the subtitles and the different points and the sub points under it and finally highlight the keywords. Whereas for technical or conceptual subjects like economics or political science, the concept map or mind map format works way better. Here you write the main heading somewhere in the center and then branch out different subheadings and key points from it. And no worry, neither of them require too much effort. For writing the title, you just need to use a sketch pen or a highlighter and simply write it down in capital letters. Nothing fancy, no calligraphy required, unless you want it of course. Just write it down in big bold letters like you would if you were using your pen and that's it. However, here are some other really easy options for writing the heading as well, just in case.
Now, while writing the rest of your notes, just make sure to break everything down into titles, subtitles, points and subpoints, and also use stars, asterisks, bullets, dashes, arrows, etc. to differentiate between them all. And when you're finished with one topic and want to start another, you can also make separators or dividers between them like so. At the end, while reviewing or revising your notes, simply highlight the key points, different colors for different parts. Make sure to keep everything neat and that's it. You have your pretty aesthetic looking notes at the go that will excite you to study that didn't even require too much effort or those expensive stationary supplies. Now if you started to enjoy this process and are willing to spice things up a little bit, you can go on and make some doodles here and there. I personally don't do it much because I prefer it clean but I do make these kinds of bubble boxes for extra information that I feel I need to write down and these kinds of brackets for vocabulary or word meanings but you don't need to copy this exact same format. You can come up with things that work for you and that you like to do that may be graphs or charts or diagrams or you can even use flashcards and give your notes your own personal touch. Guys, if you're a visual learner like me, I really hope you found this video useful. And even if you aren't, note taking can prove to be very effective for you. I would sincerely urge you to give it a try and see for yourself. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below anything that you want to. Share it with any lazy people that you know who might be interested. And please subscribe before leaving. We're very close to 900. Let's make it 900. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.